Hi and welcome to part 4 of tutorial 23 in which we create an indicator which overlay, overlays on a normal chart a three line break type functionality and TradeStation does allow you to use three, three or line break charts I should say but what this does it just adds the same functionality to a normal chart and you have to use your imagination a little bit because for example when we have a number of these boxes plotting here that on a three line break chart would actually be a line. Uh, what I suggest this is actually part four what I would suggest if you haven't looked at the other parts is that you uh, watch this video and then go and look at parts one two and three which provide a lot more explanation of this indicator. But the reason for uh, part four is that uh, what I discovered was that this appears to work fine on most symbols um, most of the time. But for example, in this uh, on this particular day, if we were to go to the USD CAD chart, you'll see that for some reason it's just not plotting anything. Well, the reason for that is is pretty simple. If we go to the actual program, we'll see that uh, we have an initialization part of the program and in that we say if close is greater than open then we do a certain uh, thing we call it an up bar and we do certain things within a begin statement and if close is less than open then we call it a down bar and we do a certain number of things within a statement now that is fine but what if close equals open well if close equals open then neither of those things occur and uh, we effectively don't run anything else in the program because in the uh, variable statement we say upline is false and downline is false. If this part of the program is not actually activated then upline stays false and downline stays false and that means that we don't run any of the the rest of the program. And if we just go and look at the uh, USD CAD you'll see that the uh, the very bar that we would evaluate, let's just go to the beginning of the, the time scale here you'll see that actually the open and the close are equal to each other hence the reason that this program is not running on this particular chart well there's a, a simple way around that and uh, we can we can do that just by adding an equal sign here so we're just basically adding a rule and saying if close equals open then we're going to call it arbitrarily uh, an up bar it's not really an up bar but we're going to call it that just so that we can get the program running so if I press F3 to verify that, then we just go back to the chart, we'll now see that that's working fine. Incidentally, um, if you want to save yourself some typing with this program, I have made the code available for a nominal fee, and uh, I have actually cor corrected the uh, ELD or changed the ELD to use to include that equal sign, just so that this will run on charts where the, uh, the first bar evaluated has a close and open equal to each other. Anyway, uh, I hope that's useful. Please go to markplex.com and join the email list and uh, thank you for your attention.